with me for a second. You have a big salad in front of you. You've got some lettuce, some sliced cherry tomatoes, a little bit of cheese, maybe some croutons and just a few bacon bits. And you need something to dress that salad. So you get a vinaigrette dressing and before you use that, you shake it up because if you don't shake it up, it's this mess that's separated into a bunch of different layers. It doesn't look good and probably won't taste good if you don't shake it up. And I wanna use that as an analogy to help us understand Hebrews 10. In verse 24, it says this, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. In life, it's really easy to grow stagnant. Following Christ is a whole life thing, not just you know a two-month thing. And so we have a lot of time there, and it's really easy to just get into the motions, just grow stagnant. And when we grow stagnant, we start to compartmentalize our life. We say, okay, I have church on Sunday. I've got my time with God here, and then I've got my work time here. I've got my friends here, family here, and we break apart everything. And then what happens is that our time with God doesn't flow through all of our other times. The living out of our relationship with Christ doesn't happen because we've we've compartmentalized our life and we live uh, separated. And so we need others to come and stir up love and good works in us, just like that vinaigrette dressing. We need someone to come and shake us up, get us moving, so that that love and good works carries throughout our life. And it's not just coming and saying, hey, do better. It's saying, come, do better. Let's do better together, and I'm going to keep encouraging you. I'm in this together with you. I'm going to stir up love and good works in you and you're going to do it in me because we both need to grow. We both want to be showing that love and and showing those good works, not for our glory, but all back to the glory of God. We don't want to sit like a vinaigrette dressing, just stagnant and separated. We want to be stirred up to love and good works and to meet together and encouraging one another to give all the glory back to our Father in heaven. So that just leaves me with one question. Who do you have in your life that you can go and ask to stir up your life to love and good works and to stick with you and encourage you in this journey of life?